Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I am going to show you how can you easily create a custom based t-shirt design that you can easily create it. So, if you basically the concept behind this tutorial is to give you, an, give you an idea how can you easily create your own t-shirts or if you are working as a you know um, start as a business then you can create different sort of t-shirt design and you can sell it out over the different website over the internet. So, this is the simple way to create these I what a sort of design in Adobe Illustrator. So, you can just uh, uh, start it over if you want to create a similar design or if you, if you want to work on a different concept. So, I am just creating a simple uh, victory based uh, uh, concept here. So, let us start now. First of all, what I am going to do, I am simply taking this rounded rectangle tool here and now creating a simple corner radius here that is around 89, uh, I, I want to shift it to 90. So, it will be a more circular from the edges. So, you can see that how it would be looking like basically I want to create an illusion like a finger uh, there that is showing the victory sign. So, it will be looking like that, but it is more straight. So, to give it a more realistic illusion what I am going to do I will uh, make a little twist in this design. So, I will uh, give it an angle of minus 3 degree. So, before that you have to select it over and now you can simply uh, uh, apply these twist over it. So, you can see how it will be looking like now, now it is not more straight and this there is a little you know uh, the twisting is here and to make it a more realistic illusion to, uh, you can click over it and now you can take the direct selection tool from here and now simply click on the anchor points and you can simply uh, move the uh, you know uh, the anchor points from your keyboard or from your mouse as well. So, it will be looking like a more uh, look like a finger right now. So, for this I want to create a copy of this from here and now you can simply rotate the copy like this and place it here. I want to reduce the size and keep it here simple like this and uh, now the another thing that I am going to do I will use this pen tool from here to create a blue uh, structure. So, for this I want to create a simple curve just a little, a little angle. So, you can create it like this if you want to work on a similar design and now I am going to create a simple line like this. here make sure your guidelines are on because it will help you to work in a proper way with all uh, by choosing all the alignments on place and now I have I have created these curves lines. So, here you can check it and now uh, you can just place it in a closed loop. So, it will be looking like this now. So, you can see how it would be looking like. So, it is a victory sign that I have just created and now we are going to select all layers together here and uh, simply going into the window pathfinder and here you can simply unite it to form a one layer. So, it will be looking like this now. Now, the next thing that I am going to do here that uh, I will simply take this rectangle tool from here and now simply drag a rectangle like this here and another smaller rectangular bar is here. So, you can arrange it like this or might be little over. So, now what I am going to do I will select all these all these layers together here and simply going into the minus front option from here and it will be looking like this now. Here I want to do uh, I want to choose the text type uh, type tool here. So, to write a text is for this here I am going to write victory. So, I want to keep it all bold. So, I will place it here. Here I have choose the uh, you know the uh, font is capture it. If you want to change it then you can also do it. Uh, I can also check it with the century Gothic uh, with the bold version. So, you can also 
use this one here. So, it is all depend upon you how do you want to go with this. These are the free fonts that you can easily download from the font.com. I have already downloaded from there. If you want to use the capture it, then you can also download to, from the font.com. And now, what I am going to do, I am simply taking turning the color to the same one. So, it will be looking like this now. Here is the simple sign that we have just created, and uh, now I will align it all in the middle. So, it will it is looking uh, uh, like now. So, this is a just a symbol a structure that we have just created to just to create a more twigs around it. What I am going to do. I am simply uh, taking applying a crunch option at the back of this uh, icon. So, for this if you for if you are following my tutorial, then you can see how can you easily create a custom crunch uh, uh, you know tutorial uh, custom uh, crunch uh, um, uh, um, brush in your uh, Adobe Illustrator. I, I have created a, a you know uh, a tutorial on that, but if you want to create a, some predefined packs are already here in Illustrator. So, I am going to use that. So, for this uh, here you can come over here and here you can go into the vector packs and uh, here you can find the crunch push. So, I want to use this one or might be the, this one and uh, here I want to choose turn off the fill option from here and simply using the you know check it out and now take it from here simply like this. If you want, you can just increase the size here like this. So, it will be more I want you to move this one from here and uh, now I want to create another. So, I am going to create something that will be related with the you know rotation twist. So, I have created this one and now this these are the random you know things uh, that I have created uh, so far. So, for now I am going to the expand appearance sorry I want to choose the expand appearance uh, here you can expand it all over. So, it will be looking like this and now you can apply the uh, you know uh, the opacity to this design. So, it will be minus so, it will be around 20 percent or might be the 40 percent. So, you can check it out how it would be looking like. In the meanwhile, I am just going to remove all these from here uh, and here you can press control G to group it together. Now, you can place it on your design and uh, you can simply arrange it at the back. So, it will be looking like this and now you can simply make it like this here. So, it will be looking like this now. So, here what I am going to do I am simply select all these layers together press control C and here I have already created some t shirt designs here. Uh, these are the pictures basically that have uh, and now, I am going to place it on the black t shirt first. So, you can see that how it would be looking like, and then I am going to place it over the white t shirt. So, you can see how it would be looking like here. So, it all depends upon you, you can place the concept on different colors uh, in different way. So, you can make some more uh, here, you can also some more do more, more tricks like I am changing the color to white and if you want you can make it more you know prominent to this design and these are the little custom options that you can play with the different colors that how it should be look like and uh, here I can also change the color to black as well. 
So, these are the custom based uh, concepts that you can easily create it. So, the simple design of the t-shirt that you can easily create and you can work on the different concept, different ideas and you can play, uh, place these designs on uh, different uh, you know t-shirt uh, uh, selling website and you can sell it out. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorial and if, if it uh, helps you in any of the way then you can just uh, write in the comment section. It will be uh, uh, quite easy for me to create a the similar uh, sort of a, a tutorial as well in future. And if you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye bye.